hello guys what is going on techroom uk here so for today's video we are going to upgrade this beast of a laptop this is the alienware area 51 mr2 10900k rtx 2080 super that's a desktop 10900k by the way uh, first of all we're going to double the ram capacity from 16 to 32 gigabytes with a mushkin redline uh, 3200 megahertz CL14 it's really really fast memory uh, we also going to add a NVMe SSD on top of the other one that we already have this is a 2 terabyte 970 EVO plus from Samsung gen 3x4 and last time I opened this bad boy I added this uh, 1 terabyte solid state drive actually replaced it with the internal hard drive that it was in there so basically what I'm going to do today, open this up, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up. We, of course we're going to use the uh, iFixit toolkit for this because you got everything you need in there. We're going to open this up, upgrade the RAM, add the NVMe, put it back together and it should work even better. Again, this is a beast of, the, of a laptop, we're going to make it even more of a beast basically. So yeah, stay tuned to see the end of this video because it's gonna worth it. I'm gonna show you guys how to add the storage and everything. And then I'll have one, two, three terabytes and 32 gigabytes of RAM for a laptop that's more than enough. And uh, possibly in the future, because I have another NVMe slot in there, I'm gonna add maybe a four or eight terabyte. Actually, I can do eight, 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 that's 24 terabytes of NVMe storage or SSDs, whatever. Or you can buy another bracket and have four NVMe's in there. But yeah, that would be too much. I think three terabytes for now should do just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and um, open this up. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, stick around to the end of the video to see the results. Okay, so uh, first thing we got to do is uh, turn the laptop around. So we're just going to do that right right there. That's it. And as you can see, the laptop got uh, six screws. We got one, two, three, four, five, six screws. We have to unscrew them and uh, access the back cover. So in order to do that, we're going to use this screwdriver from iFixit. Uh, we're going to start with these two and just make our way around. Okay, so after we loosen all of these screws, it should pop up easily you just uh, have to pry it a bit and then we take this apart i already mounted the ram everybody knows how to do that it's really simple you just clip this this two here take it out and put the other one um, this is the 2.0 inch sata ssd is right here and now we're going to add this uh this samsung mvme drive two terabyte into this slot right here as you can see we have a uh, nvme storage slot right here so i'll go ahead and unseal this as you can see it's sealed and i really like this drive because it's made in korea that's the home country of uh, samsung so um yeah i'll go ahead and open it and i'll add it here and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like okay guys so it's done i took the drive out uh, opened the case and everything i put it here and now all we have to do is just screw it in like this and then the laptop is ready to go. You just got to go in the format um, format partition and stuff and do it from there. But yeah, basically this is how the laptop looks inside. Other SSD where the memory goes. We got two blower style fans right here and right here. Massive, massive heatsink. Uh, here is where the 10900K is and uh, the GPU the GPU should be somewhere, somewhere around here, I think here or something. We have massive, massive, like two kilograms worth of uh, copper and heat sinks and uh, heat pipes and stuff. So this laptop has one of the best uh, cooling solutions I ever seen. But yeah, let's go ahead and screw this down and uh, we should be able to put the case back. No problem. Okay, so everything is done. I added the NVMe right here. I put a sink heat sink on it and uh, everything else is good to go we have the upgraded ram we have the upgraded uh, sata ssd and another two terabytes of nvme storage 
we have a 512 gigabyte uh, uh, NVMe storage for the OS, which I'll probably replace in the future with another two or four terabyte, but for now, for the OS should be fine. And uh, yeah, basically it's ready to go. I'm gonna take the cover and I'm gonna slowly push on it and put it on its uh, in its place and then I'm gonna screw everything down and that's it. Oh, it's the other way. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna screw everything down and I'm gonna turn the laptop on and I'm gonna show you how to access your uh, new drive. Okay guys, so we turned on the laptop. As you can see, there is no sight of the two terabyte uh, Samsung we just installed, but we go to this management and as soon as we go in, it's gonna prompt up prompt us with this message, initialize disk. So we just press OK. Now it's initialized. You can see it here, disk one. All we have to do is just right click on it and uh, press new simple volume. Next, next, assign a letter to it. For example, I will assign, uh, I will assign the letter S from Samsung. Default volume label, we're gonna name it. Uh, so let me see, let me see if you guys can see. We're gonna name it uh, 972 terabyte. Yeah, so we name it 972 terabyte. We click on next. Now it's gonna format it. We click on finish. It's formatting, healthy partition. Boom, that's it. Ready to go. It already popped up. And now if you go to my computer, this PC, you should say your OS, the other SSD I have, the one terabyte one and the 972 terabyte. That's it, really simple as that. Uh, very easy laptop to upgrade. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for uh, the RAM, for the SSDs I used and for the toolkit. I'll even link, I'll even link uh, the laptop if you guys wanna buy it, it's a great laptop. I haven't used it as much because I got a gaming PC. I'm trying to preserve this as much as I can, but it's very, very powerful. You can play basically any game at decent FPS, no matter what. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.